hello guys hello 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 welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okay we're gonna dive right into this um so basically um i i've got a feeling that uh, Megan is on uh, Ozempic and that can contribute to the uh, drastic uh, weight loss and there's several reasons uh, for this um, she's got what they call a, a, an Ozempic uh, face and basically because you lose too much weight too to fast uh, your um, cheeks the fat in the cheeks uh, in the face uh, sort of like just disappears really you know uh, so it can leave them looking funny so she's got two lines to the edge of her mouth uh, very fine but like folds of skin uh, take a look um, and you'll see it um, her hair there's something wrong with her hair uh, in that wool wool coat dress uh, I just feel like you know it's not the normal uh, shine for Megan so that can be it too she would suffer from uh, mood swings she would suffer from uh, being cold uh, and obviously uh, if you tiredness that's it tiredness because you're not getting your regular food anymore or uh, the nutrients okay so you can take as many uh, supplements as you like I maybe she's taking a few but she's obviously not taking uh, enough so and then the stress uh, button on her, her wrist <laughs> oh dear oh dear let's get into it right then is megan uh, has megan been using a uh, zempic absolutely absolutely so what she got she's got nine this is a, a lot, nine, so it's over a stone. This is not the cards, I'm not adding nine to the cards. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's over a stone, it's physical. Uh, nine pounds would be over half uh, a stone. Now she's lost uh, quite a, a, a bit more than that. Nine times two, 18 pounds, yeah. Uh, over at nearly a stone and a half. Now, what can what's happening there is um she'll be uh her, her muscles in her arms look flabby uh, i've done it before and done a crash diet and everything uh the only thing i stuck to actually uh but you know and yeah the downside is uh boobies uh you know because the fat goes off the chest uh your, your arms are, are flabby and look flabby you know there's no muscle mass there and that's strange that because in in previous uh pictures of her she looks like she's pop out the sailor man with his uh you know that ding where uh his arm goes up with a sort of like a a bicep um so yes yeah, so for for many many of those reasons for those reasons i've had this feeling uh the past couple of weeks so um so yeah that was the plan and she's been sticking to it you know she she felt good that uh she's been sticking to it like i just said you know the only thing that i stuck to and it worked you know because you stuck to it um and so there's there's quite a i've managed you know there's a so like a i don't know a, a sense of security in saying that oh yeah i stuck to it knowing that you stuck to it and followed things through and you can see the weight dropping off and you know um this can actually turn into a, an eating disorder i mean after all uh diana had one so you know what does uh megan want to us to believe her weight loss uh is down to Uh, she wants us to believe it's down to all the negativity, the spite and the uh, vindic vindictiveness uh, of it all. Um, getting others uh, to, to do the dirty work so she will interpret other people coming out uh, as being part of some gang uh, that are all set to uh, destroy Megan where she sees herself as uh, the victim. Um, also as well though, she's very insecure lately, very insecure okay, uh, about her body. So she was going through uh that stage whether she took steroids whether she ate so much you know whatever there was a point uh where they call it the baby weight we know it's not baby weight but um you know uh so yeah i think uh she's obviously had a, a thing uh 
from it there. She's just sort of like got insecure. I think the more she loses control of Harry, uh, the more insecure about herself she comes because she can see that she hasn't got the power anymore, you know, and that's devastating to uh, Megan. Okay, so uh, let's have a look then. Yeah, it doesn't want to, to look bad. So it's all her insecurities uh, as well. She's taking the drug. She wants you to believe that she's, you know, uh, this has been uh, just a natural uh, false. No, she doesn't want anybody speculating that she's using Ozempic. But clearly she has the Ozempic face. You can't uh, escape it, you know, and you can't fill it that easy, neither with Botox. It's like... Uh, uh, for, it's just a very difficult area I suppose um, but yeah I mean she hasn't taken care of it so okay so this has been uh, the, in, in uh, the running um, does uh, so she's going for it for the spite and slander and you know she's a victim uh, so all the stress of this so where does Diana come? Because we had the question, uh, Diana's got a de eating disorder and Harry somewhere in his, uh, in whatever I've been reading lately, uh, I'm sh I definitely did see uh, that, oh, it was uh, trying to beat Megan is Diana to the Uncle Spencer or, uh, yeah, Uncle Spencer, I think. So, you know, um, it's, and... Harry is up and said that, uh, you know, Megan is just like his mother in every way. If they could just see it. I know the sisters, uh, the two aunties were one in Preston. Neither was Spencer. Mr. Spencer. Right. OK. So, yeah. Uh, does does Megan want to emulate uh, Diana's eating disorder? You know, does Megan want to copy that in some way? No, I don't think so. In this case, uh, I don't because <clears throat> um, bulimia, I believe it was, okay, is, uh, well, it's t any anything like that is terrible, okay? Any sickness is uh, terrible. Um, but I'm getting this in, th this in it, this, you know, this isn't uh, it. And as well, in the past, she hasn't demonstrated uh, like eating disorder uh, to Harry or to anybody. Um, and of course, people hide it. Yes, they do. Uh, there's uh, like, it can affect your teeth and your esophagus and your throat. Um, it, it, you know, it's, and especially the mental uh, part. And then there's the uh, gorging on food uh, and everything. Uh, Megan just isn't like that. She's been continuously thin uh, all, all uh, uh, so like adult life. Um, and you would be. There's a lot of pressure there for for being slim. She would have taken other stuff, you know. Uh, let's have a look. Has Megan uh, used any other? Uh, Appetite suppressants uh, before Ozempic. Yeah, definitely. You know, she was. Uh, she tried all sorts. To be fair, uh, she tried all uh, sorts. And the reason she wants successful is because some of them are, are just real hard to take. You used to have these slimming pills that used to, you know, uh, mess with your head and keep you up all night. I know because I tried them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went in the bin. Um, diet summer, diet. I can't remember now, but it was definitely that. Um, but yeah, it's like a an amphetamine based, maybe. Uh, I believe, or it has that effect. So yeah, I do believe that she's journeyed all over. She likes uh, trying. You know, she's tried different uh, things. Um, to to keep her, so she may not have kept the same method. Uh, the same type of pet drug or whatever it is. Um. But the fact that she's just battled and, and kept going with it uh, all, all her life because she knows that's the driving uh, force for her, you know, was to look pretty and be thin. Uh, so, you know, that that's why uh, she's done it. So finally, she, you know, after all the things she's tried, uh, now she's got something she can stick to and it's easy. You don't feel hungry. Uh, if you do, you just up a dose. Okay, so let's get on to, uh, you know, the challenges now then. So what challenges uh, does Megan and her weight loss and her Zempic, uh 
you know what what does Megan face with these oh. <laughs> By some people calling her out, okay, uh, but she, you know, so she's lost weight, but she's going to say she's been hitting the gym. She can't say she hasn't been drinking because she's been out every night since uh, Harry was in the uh, Senegal. <laughs> I said to me, I said, we've been there. We went, took a, a boat trip uh, over there and he went, well, I don't recognise it. And I said, well, you're looking at pure dust. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, she's uh, going to lie about how she's, uh, or lies are going to be told uh, about a new fitness regime and uh, healthy eating and Megan's, uh, you know, diet book and, uh, you know, recipes. Yeah, recipe for disaster. <gasps> but uh, yeah, so ooh, I could see this going. So will Megan uh, bring out some kind of uh, dieting uh, uh, advice? Because this would suit her with a you know a new Instagram. So will uh, Megan connect this? Absolutely, okay, absolutely. Oh my God! So she's going to make out that her weight loss is down to this promoting products, uh, promoting. Uh, you know, she n nobody wants to admit that they're on the Ozempic. You know, uh, very very few. I I have seen a, a few celebrities, um, but some of them have come away and said, you know, I won't be using it again. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. But yeah, she's going to, uh, you know, abandon on this. Uh, she certainly is. I think that's why she was covering, you know, a, a coat. Uh, you can see her legs are skinny, but you can't see the top of her. Um, so yeah, maybe she was hiding uh, that. Uh, does a, you know, was Megan? Um, why was Megan wearing a, a coat uh, the other day in the car lot? unhealthy she's cold she is cold okay uh, and that can happen uh, as well cold and tiredness two worst things you know uh, makes you kind of misjudge and like yeah she looked good in her clothes but the uh the hair i don't know that you know it's well keep an eye out for the hair i've mentioned it a couple of times so uh, there might be something uh interesting there so yeah, she's uh. Why was she? You know, she she probably. Yeah, I'm getting unhealthy. I'll just stick with unhealthy tiredness, uh, and feeling the cold. I mean, when you're tired, you feel the cold as well, don't you? I know working nights. Uh, I used to do three till five. Uh, no, sorry, I found three a.m. till five a.m. The the worst point, you know. Uh, the the where you was more cold and you'd put a cardi on on top. But yeah, uh, so it definitely uh, does look like that. This isn't about PR. I'm telling you, it, it is not. You know, uh, she was, she's, uh, she's unhealthy. Nothing good there. Nothing good whatsoever. Just like. You know, she so she's upset as well. She'll be upset maybe over the titles. We'll go into that another one. This is like a uh, uh, Ozempic and the physical uh, body, but you know, I do feel like she is upset. But she's she's in some kind of uh, pain. But it's a limbo pain. You know, things could just get better. If, I don't know. I get the sense that like maybe three pap shots in a, a week. You know, it is a bit much. She's not dealing with it, okay, but she can't be asked. Oh, excuse me. But, you know, she can't. She can't be bothered. Uh, you know, it was like, oh, I just have to go do this. Not like jumping for joy, thinking I'm going to wave my wrist all over, you know, uh, and have fun uh, looking that way. She truly can't be asked, you know. she She's uh, down. Uh, so... Let's have a look then. Uh, so we've got what challenges. Well, that's how you lost the weight, Megan, and covering it up. Okay, so, you know, um, what health problems, you know, will there be any side effects uh, to, to this, to Meg Megan's physical body? Uh, 
no she, you know if anything she's gonna sell it that she's uh she's lost the weight and fast you know uh fast very the progress of it so you know um i mean losing weight too fast i've already give you like the cheekbones uh, and um something to do with the eyes as well i kind of feel like not not the sparkly ones you know a, a bit dull you know where the shine's gone off them so look at that uh obviously the arms you know she's gonna lose all the, the turn flat chested you know what <sighs> yeah flat chested and i think obviously clothes and jewelry uh will be fat too big i don't wear my red uh wedding rings uh because uh there was a too t no not too tight too loose you know the too loose uh, i got married uh years ago as a bigger girl and uh yeah too loose so uh, i keep saying to him he's got to get around to getting me a new one but there's just so many other things to to deal with and more important in life <clears throat> anyway so yeah so, so no nah, i'm not seeing that i'm not seeing that okay then uh what's the outcome for megan uh in all this I think she's, you know, uh, she's found a niche, you know, there's some, she can say that she's done it honestly um, and lead the world to uh, believe that, you know, and go and launch uh, a lot of products uh, and stuff. She wanted something to go into a niche market and this is exactly uh, what it is. So this is like, oh my God, I've heard about it, the new wonder drug, but also as well, the fact that she can self-promote it. I went to the gym, I've done lengths in the pool, I've done, you know, I've stuck to this diet and, and advocate and uh, whatever else, you know, uh, lettuce, uh, rocket uh, salad, you know, that kind of thing. So she's definitely uh, going to be, uh, I, th I think, you know, I, don't, I think this could be uh, successful. Well, Megan's, uh, you know, new business venture regarding uh, diets and everything, healthy living. Uh, will uh, this be a success for Megan? I'd say so. She may do something slightly different. <clears throat> To, to what I've said, but it's definitely the uh, the diet thing. Um, like anything, she starts stuff, doesn't she? The problem is, is uh, completing it. And so there'd be loads of opportunities, you know. She has all that energy at the beginning, quite manic, um, but it's a, a good driving force, you know, a good source of motivation. And I just feel like, you know, uh, she starts thing and then we just don't get anywhere really so she would need to get people in to to do this i can't imagine her <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine it I, I just can't imagine it but she's definitely gonna uh, do it and she'll branch out as well into other things so she'll start with hair as the result uh here's how you get you know with her i mean i don't know she could be uh flogging her own uh, blenders okay but actually i think it's more about using other people's products and endorsing them uh and that kind of thing so you know you, you never know but she's got it because uh everybody will believe that you know skinny megan um uh, has you know uh got the perfect answer uh to your uh problems but will Megan uh, be called out for the use of Ozempic? Look, people are all, always going to stare it up. You know, uh, we're all going to come forward and say it. We're all going to, you know, know. Uh, but because Megan says not, it, you know, the rest of the world has to, to follow. But, I mean, I'm not sure GB News or Talk uh, TV could even bring that up i don't know if they're brave enough okay i don't think they are you know attacking a woman of color uh you know <laughs> uh, and accusing her of having uh, an eating disorder or you know the use of uh, eggs and i don't think people are going to challenge her on this uh, at all but it will make it very difficult you know she will be called out by us certainly uh youtube and twitter and instagram uh and yeah so it is gonna be difficult but she she could push through this 
my only concern is is that you know this could be really good in a way built on not a firm foundation so but you know she she all she has to do is deny uh she you could order it from a fake address that's how uh, good it is you know uh not your address somebody else's so uh privately uh that no one would ever know it's all right saying she's got all these telltale uh signs uh but no one can prove it but yeah i do feel it will be uh, make things uh difficult but megan's used to that isn't she you know she's used to it so let's see what happens uh and uh but yeah i think this is uh one of megan's uh plans you know plans okay guys that's it from me and i'll be back soon with another reading okay bye now bye bye Thank you.